Greetings and welcome to the one six scale man probably presents. You know what it is. Say what here where we actually do nothing but posing. I leave the uh, unboxing and the reviews to the professionals, those who've been doing it for a long period of time. But for me, it's all about the posing uh, today. Gracefully, I'm so glad that I was able to finally take outside the box uh, the Snow Speeder Luke, Luke Skywalker, Snow Speeder Pilot MMS. What is that? 585. So glad to get this outside of the box. And this is the 40th anniversary piece. So I'm happy to, I'm so happy to have it in front of me. I'm tongue tied because I'm excited. Uh, but again, you see actually everything we actually have here. Same silhouette that we get from this particular box. Nothing different from what we would normally get from a Star Wars release or a Star Wars packaging. Again, Luke in the front, Skywalker or that Star Wars banner in the front. And also we have the 40th anniversary at the far, you know, bottom. That's my left, probably your right. Uh, but yeah, so glad to basically have this piece in front of me finally. And we will get him outside the box. Actually, we already have him outside the box. Again, it's not a review. I leave that to the professionals with us. It's all about the posing. So I've taken the liberty to take everything, all the accessories already outside the box. This is a slip cover. So basically underneath you have the clamshell. It's a wraparound open up lid. Um, so definitely you have that as well. But again, I've already taken everything outside the box. So voila, there we go. We have Luke Skywalker himself right there in front of us as we basically pan in on this piece and we get a chance to look at him and all of his accessories here. I am loving this figure. I'm telling you right out the box, I'm so excited, especially with all the accessories that he actually comes with, all the accessories that we actually get from this guy. Super excited about that. So let's kind of punch in and just kind of take a look at everything he actually comes with, all right? So as you can see here, he does come with a few accessories here. We have some of the snow speeder hands, gloved hands that we actually get with this figure. If we bring it up here so you can take a look at it. I do like the texture of that and it is weathered. So when you get this piece, it will come and when you, you know, the gloves will be weathered. If you haven't already got it, I mean, come on, man, you should have it by now. But I do like the texture on that glove. I like how it actually looks there. Uh, we do have, and you know, I was kind of joking about this, that we actually have Luke's right hand before it was actually cut off. So the paint application kind of makes sense. It looks just like the left. So we finally got a right hand. Uh, this is uh, um, Empire Pre before he basically got his hand cut off by Vader. So definitely so glad to have that in there, like that texture. Now this is the infamous bladed arm. I don't use this. I would never use this. I would never take it outside the box. I don't like putting this arm in. It's too much of a struggle. It does come with a battery compartment here. The batteries are right there where you can actually place inside this piece, but I won't be using it. You know, always keep it aside. It's not really my thing. We also have his blade. We have Luke's Anakin lightsaber that was actually gracefully given to him by Obi-Wan. It looks good. That hilt is incredible. The blade is nice and clear and crisp. And we also have that force effect blade down there as well. We have his blaster pistol, Luke's infamous, famous blaster pistol. Uh, I do like that. It is kind of modified, but it's incredible. I love that piece. Um, and then we also have the grappling hook back here. Now, this piece is what he used to uh, grapple to the at at uh, when he took that shot, uh, or actually when he uh, placed the detonator inside of it to uh, give the Rebellion a more of an advantage. Um, it does actually come an extension there. There's a hook at the end here. Um, and it's magnetic piece right here where you can actually magnetically attach it to suit, you know, a metal piece or the roof of uh, your collection and kind of giving that um, a, you know, pretty much where he's elevating, he's hanging off of that uh, grappling hook. We have his helmet. This right here is Rogue Five. This is, this is, this, this right here is, I love this. I love this. I love the paint application on that helmet. This is, I mean, again, I've always been a Luke Skywalker fan. This helmet has been synonymous with the Star Walker, I mean, the Skywalker uh, lore and Star Wars in general. Um, so I'm so glad to actually have this piece in front of me. Um, do love that. Um, we have here, now this is basically what goes under the actual helmet. Um, so it's more secured. Um, again, I like that. And then we also actually have the chin strap here that goes right there on Luke's chin. So I like that. And on top of that, as you can see in the back, that base, that base, it's a snow base. Now, again, I'm not a fan of the waist grabber or the crouch grab, the cross grabber. 
but it is what it is. I mean, we got to take what we can actually get. So, you know, whatever. Don't like it, but we get it. And on top of that, who do we got here? We got none other than Luke Skywalker himself. Um, again, you can take a look at that head sculpt all the way down. Now, the lighting's a bit different. I'll actually tone that down so you get a better chance to look at that figure. You'll see as the rest of the video goes on. But look at this figure, man. Look at the detail, the quality, the weathering in the actual jacket, uh, the shoes. Um, I do basically love that. Um, now, here's the thing. I actually have the sideshow version. So I have both versions now, the Sideshow and this version. And I quite like the Sideshow version. I've always loved it. I'll never give it up. I'm still not gonna give it up, but I just had to have this piece because it is, it, again, it's 40th anniversary. But you can see the, the weathering that would, it actually happens around that, that jacket, the way they have it painted. Um, I love that. Um, everything, all the way down to his belt, um, the gloves, everything about this figure just screams excellence. So I'm so happy to get this thing out the box and getting posed up. I'm gonna actually do something different. I'm gonna create like a snow element here so I can pose him in that, create a bit of ambiance, and you'll be, be the judge and tell me what you think. But without further ado, let's get it going. I'm ready, I know you're ready, let's go.